Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 20. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at the denominator right now. As you can see, we got two factors. One of them, this one, x plus 2, is a linear factor. The other one, x squared plus x plus 1, is a quadratic one, and which cannot be factored any further. So we can write for this x plus 2, we can write one fraction, and under that one is going to be x plus 2 and for the second quadratic one is going to become I'm going to put down x squared plus x plus 1 and for the first one it is going to be a for that linear factors and for this one is going to be since this is a quadratic one we are going to put down b times x plus c. Just keep your mind that this is the way we write when we are dealing with the quadratic factors. And now our task is to find the values of these constant a, b, and c. Now let's go ahead and look at now in the next step we are going to look at in the denominator this part the hole which I'm circling I am going to multiply this x plus 2 times x square plus x plus 1 across the board I'm going to write down over here x plus 2 times x square plus x plus 1 likewise over here x plus 2 times x square plus x plus 1 and finally over here x plus 2 times x squared plus x plus 1. Now as we can see that this x plus 2 cancels out with this one. This x plus x squared plus x plus 1. This is gone with this x squared plus x plus 1. So we are just ended up on the left hand side with x squared plus 1 one equals to let's take care of this one on the right hand side this x plus 2 is gone with this x plus 2 so we got a times x square plus x plus 1 and then in the next one here we can see that this x square plus x plus 1 cancels out with this x square plus x plus 1 so we simply got plus bx plus c times x plus 2. And I am going to call this equation as equation number 1. And here is the quick trick. Look for linear factor in the denominator. Let's look at the linear factor in the denominator on the left hand side as we can see we got just one linear factor which is x plus 2 I am going to copy it down right up here x plus 2 I am going to set this one equal to 0 so we got x equal to negative 2 and now in the next step I am going to look at this x equal to negative 2 value and I here I just wrote down put x equal to negative 2 in this equation 1. That means wherever we see equation in this equation x, we are going to replace it by negative 2. Let's go ahead and do that one. So the left hand side is going to become simply negative 2 square plus 1 equal to a times this is going to be a negative 2 square plus negative 2 and then plus 1 and let's look at this second term over here when I replace this x by negative 2 and this is plus 2 that's going to make it a 0 so 0 times this whole term is going to become 0 
so I can simply write this one as plus zero let's simplify this one on the left hand side negative 2 square is 4 4 plus 1 is simply 5 all right equals to this is going to become a times negative 2 square is 4 minus 2 plus 1 let's go ahead and simplify furthermore we got 5 equal to this is going to become 3a which means a turns out to be 5 over 3 value thus we figured out a value but still we need to figure out b and c value for that purpose we need to do some extra steps so watch and see how I'm going to do right now. So let's look at this equation one. I am going to copy it down. I am going to write it down over here. I am going to say x square plus one on the left hand side equals to on the right hand side. I am going to distribute this a. So this is going to become ax square plus ax plus 1a and then plus likewise I am going to use a foil method I'm going to multiply these two parentheses b x times x is going to become bx square plus 2bx 2bx and then plus cx and then plus 2c so far so good and now on, on this right hand side let's combine the x square parts i can write this thing as a plus b times x square as you can see over here this is x square part i just wrote it down and this is x part and this is x and this is x i am going to write them down together plus i am going to write down a plus 2b plus c times x and finally we got constant which is a plus to c and on the left hand side if you see we got x square and then x is missing i can write this one as 1x square plus 0x plus 1 and now in the next step we are going to equate or sometimes we call it compare the coefficients in this above this equation on both sides all right so as far as the x square is concerned as you can see the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is one and on the right hand side the coefficient of x square is a plus b i am going to equate them i'm going to write down one equal to a plus b for x squared likewise for x the coefficient on the left hand side is 0 and on the right hand side the coefficient of x is a plus 2b plus c so I am going to write down 0 equal to a plus 2b plus c and finally for the constant on the left hand side is 1 and the constant on the right hand side is a plus 2c let's go ahead and equate those one as well so one on the left hand side equal to a plus 2c and now we got these three equations as you can see and we want to find the values of b and c and now let's look at this first equation one equal to a plus b here i can isolate b i can write b equal to 1 minus a and we know that a is in our case is 5 over 3 
I am going to replace that one so I can write b equal to 1 minus 3 5 over 3 isn't it and over here if I subtract this one that's going to give you negative 2 over 3 so thus our b value turns out to be negative 2 third and now let's focus on this third equation 1 equal to a plus 2c here I can write this one as 2c equal to 1 minus a and over here I can write this one as 2c equal to 1 minus and we know once again a is 5 over 3 all right so this could be written as 2c equal to negative 2 third and if I divide both side by 2 c is going to give us negative 1 over 3 value so thus we figured out our a value as 5 over 3 b as negative 2 over 3 and c as negative 1 third so in our partial fraction wherever we see a i am going to replace it by 5 third b replaced by negative 2 third and c by negative 1 third and here you can see that a is being replaced by 5 third b by negative 2 third and c by negative 1 third and now let's go ahead and simplify it a little bit more the first this fraction is going to become 5 over 3 times x plus 2 and over here we can see plus as you can see here I can factor out negative one-third I can factor out negative one-third so in the parentheses we got 2x plus 1 divided by x squared plus x plus 1 and here is our final answer for partial fraction decomposition Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.